Welcome on Dromeverse YouTube channel. This is the how to series, and I will show you how you can avoid the overheat issue in case of TS5828 video transmitter. This is a really small video transmitter, but it has a great 600 milliwatts transmitter power. However, after a few minutes of use, it can get really hot up to 90 Celsius. This overheat could result that, for example, other connected parts could be damaged and definitely the transmitter efficiency in that way the performance or the range will be decreased. Also the transmitter can be damaged, but there are some solutions which I would like to show you now. With those you can avoid the overheat. It is recommended to add the small heat sink into the video transmitter which is only about one or two grams so your video transmitter will still remain a lightweight one. So for do that you need to remove the factory heat shrink from the transmitter and option A is to put some thermal conductive material to the transmitter and by that you can fix, fix the heat sink into the video transmitter or the easier way is to just fix it with a zip tie. If you are using a 3, 4 or 5 cells LiPo battery to power up your aircraft, you also have the chance to decrease the voltage by using a voltage regulator and by that power up the video transmitter. The airflow has a significant cooling effect on the video transmitter, so never place the video transmitter into your closed places where the airflow can not affect that. Please subscribe, feel free to share these videos and do not forget to raise your questions or comments. Thank you for watching.